son of a bitch. Having made my way through the anomaly trench, I found myself in a much bigger, much deadlier anomaly field. There was, however, a familiar face there to greet me. Katya. Yo. The block post was part of the Soviet Army's attempt to take control of the situation in the first days following the event. But the boys who manned it? There was no way they could have done anything or helped anyone in the city. I guess it does work. They all got so sick. And they were confused. Disoriented. They had been preparing for war. Even nuclear war. But they couldn't have expected something like this. That? Whatever it was. Whatever it is. I hear something. Maybe it's just the Earth. Uh-oh. Tired of us. Stay back. <laughs> that went much better than expected. Avoiding the anomalous traps, I found myself walking along a set of train tracks towards an oddity. A train car suspended in the air, like the truck I had seen the day before. Unlike my gravity-challenged pickup, I was able to access the boxcar via a conveniently placed ladder on its side. Or, I could, once I dealt with the ticket collector. Take that. Alright, let's check this thing out. The day me and Ace got a job from the committee. So I opted him and made a stash and a pipe in the woods by the station near the Pervame route. Yeah, Ace brought me luck. Ooh, there's another stash somewhere. Now I've got two to find. I decided I would follow the train tracks, knowing they would eventually lead me to the train station. From there, I would try to find this mysterious stash number one that had been detailed in the note I had found in the boxcar safe house, and hope that whatever was stored there would be worth the time and the effort it took me to find it. Yep, that's a train station. Although, everything is kind of up in the air now. <laughs> oh, you suck. Am I getting auditory hallucinations already? Maybe. Is that somebody? Who said that? I know I heard that over here, so it couldn't have been you. <laughs> That's not right. That's not right at all. What? What are you calling a little shit, you little shit?
that thing was was guarding it it's got to be around here somewhere right where could this thing be is that it when i finally found it I was pleasantly surprised to find that it was, in fact, worth the effort. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. A whole lot. Well, that was a surprise. What other weird shit is out here? Whoa! Nope. 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 What the hell? My arachnophobia is acting up. My arachnophobia is acting up real bad. The hell is making that noise over here? I didn't know I could get paid for stabbing things. I guess stuff's starting to look up. <laughs> Boom. Headshot. down from here and I hear another one of those guys hanging around here somewhere. And one of you. First, what's in the box? A little bit of ammo and whatever this is. And another. Another one. I got it from here, lady. What the hell is this? I don't know. What's this thing? Yeah, maybe he'll fetch me a couple of bucks. Now this, <laughs> this is really what I want to see what's inside of. And I already got one of those. Yeah, another one of these. 
toilet paper. All right, I can get behind that. Or I can, you know, get it behind me. Stash number four. Listen, wuss, I get you a present right inside the stove in the greenhouse in Blood Key. It's not your favorite mince pies, but you better check it. Somewhere out here, there's somebody leaving pies? Oh. Hmm. More food and... A monocular. What was that noise? Sunflower seeds. Satisfied that I had thoroughly searched the train station for supplies, I set back out on the road. Though my pack was beginning to weigh me down, and I was worried about navigating the hazards of the radius and the darkness. Yeah, that could be a real problem in the dark. Yes. Using my map, I discovered the objective location of my original mission that I had become distracted from. Unfortunately, with the weight of my backpack, fatigue, and my injuries, I was in no condition to complete my mission. I would have to find shelter and try again tomorrow. Following the dirt road, I found a suitable enough building to make camp in for the night, though from a distance I could make out one of the things I had gotten the blue shard from. I would need to be cautious. Where there was one of those, there were those shadow creatures. Here's something and see something. No, 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 no. And it sees me. Another one. I am playing in the dark, pal. This, this is a nice find, a very, very nice find. Once I get this cleaned up, this is going to be nice. Taking a sentry position from the couch of the abandoned building, I settled in for the night. Though I knew I would get no rest with the sounds that were outside. <sighs> this is going to be a long, long night. <laughs> <laughs> 